In this video, we finally got camping season started with a backpacking trip. And this just happened to be Redford's very first overnight backpacking trip. He's done a lot of hiking and a lot of RV camping, but he has never slept in a tent and he's never carried his own backpack. So this was going to be quite the adventure, but Red loves getting out into nature and exploring. So this was going to involve about a five mile hike around Round Valley Reservoir to the wilderness camping area on the other side of the lake. We'll show you some of the gear that we got for this trip to make backpacking with a dog a successful experience and you'll get to enjoy some beautiful sunrises and sunsets on the Round Valley Reservoir. So I hope that you will join us as we let new adventures begin. So don't let the weight of the world slow you down And if you search for the meaning of life, it won't be found So take your insecurities and leave them all behind Let's learn to make the most of our time We are packed and heading out on our first trip of the year and we are so late we would usually start traveling like the beginning of april but the jeep got hit by a deer that took weeks and weeks to get fixed um, we've been getting ready for the wedding which is in a little over two weeks now we've been trying to plan the honeymoon there's a lot going on um, so Finally, the very end of May, we are getting out on our first trip. And originally this was supposed to be a kayak camping trip. We were going to kayak across this lake and go camping on the other side of the lake. It thunderstormed yesterday. It was a severe thunderstorm. So there was a threat of hail. So we scrapped that plan and stayed home yesterday. And today we decided that we're going to backpack. So we scrambled, packed all of our stuff. We haven't gone backpacking in like two years. And today is this guy's first backpacking trip. He has never slept in a tent. So this is going to be interesting. I hope he sleeps. And he has never gone backpacking with us. He's worn his backpack when we go hiking, but this is his first like out overnight camping trip so pretty exciting pat is getting us sandwiches because we didn't even have time to eat we were just trying to pack and get ready and uh we're gonna be up in north jersey in about two hours and crossing our fingers that the weather is better today because the thunderstorms are still kind of in the area but i think we should we should have better luck today you excited he was sitting in the jeep for about an hour and a half this morning waiting for us while we were getting packed. He would not get out because he thought that we were gonna leave without him. So he was bound and determined to go on this trip. He's really excited. Oh, a little sleepy, but mostly excited. We made the two hour drive from our house up toward Round Valley Reservoir and there was still a threat of some rain and some thunderstorms, but no hail and the skies were looking blue as we set out on our trip so we were hopeful that the weather was going to cooperate. Last year we camped at Spruce Run which is located just next to Round Valley but since this is a wilderness campground we were hoping for a more pleasant experience. We parked in the parking area just past the check-in station and we set out on the almost five mile hike to get to site number 28. As soon as Red had his backpack on, he was pretty eager to hit the trail. There we go. All right, I'm sniffing all day. <laughs> Since this was our first time backpacking in over two years, we were actually pretty surprised with our hasty packing that our backpacks didn't feel too heavy. We really like the gear that we have right now, and it was working out well. <laughs> there is no poop fairy. <laughs> oh, we're the poop fairy. <laughs> we just started, and there's the entrance station where we checked in. And actually, you could just grab the trail right here, but uh, there's the view of the reservoir. 
and uh, we were talking to a couple other people in the parking lot and they said it is kind of a strenuous trail because I read every different thing online. Some people said it was really easy, some people said it's very rocky, steep and difficult. So I don't know, it's hard because everybody's gauge is a little bit different with that stuff. So we will see for ourselves. The reviews that we've read online stated that it's not the most picturesque trail and I agree with that. We went through areas with some fencing. They are doing construction on the dam for the reservoir. So part of the trail has been rerouted. And there are some very pretty sections like this. And especially in the spring, we got to enjoy some wildflowers. Let's see, so we've been going an hour and 32 minutes. Mm. And we're at the split where the red trail goes up there. And we're gonna go down here toward the lake for the campgrounds. It hasn't been bad so far. No. Really, not not strenuous. Not oh. by my perception, anyway. I would just suggest just bring actual uh, backpacking gear. Yeah, we've <laughs> seen some interesting people, you know, carrying... Don't bring the Yeti cooler. Carrying <laughs> lots and lots of stuff, bags and, and things like that. But it's, it's signed very well, so I could see where it's a good beginner's backpack. And uh, I would say good shoes, because the trail is a little bit rocky. So if you're wearing sneakers, it would beat your feet up. But other than that, very nice so far. Yeah. Good forested area. Water. <laughs> if you're going to run that for 10 minutes, you're going <laughs> to... That's a workout in itself. It looks pretty clear. Yeah, that's fine. And you got to figure people have been using it. Yeah. This is pretty though. Yeah. It's a nice setting. Good woods. And the trail that we're on right now is actually paved. So once you get down to the campground loop, you're on paved ground and you got these uh, bathroom areas. So pretty neat for a backpacking experience. <laughs> it's like a kind of a cushy backpacking experience. As we got into the campground, we stopped at this water pump to fill up all of our water containers because this was near site seven and it was quite a bit of a walk to get to our site, which was 28. And we didn't know how much of a walk that it was going to be, but we knew this was the only water source, so we took advantage. Two hours and 20 minutes, okay. Not bad. It's six o'clock right now. We found the site we got to walk down toward the water because we're 28W. Doesn't look like much of a trail. Yeah. <laughs> but the guy in the parking lot said 28 is a good site. That he was trying to get that one. <laughs> so that's, that was a good random pick yeah, for campsites. And this guy's doing pretty good. Yeah, you good, Red? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Probably wants his bed. All right, let's go set up the tent. <laughs> How are you going, Getting from... Campsite 26, over here to 28, kind of a mess. So there's the lake, that's where we would have come up if we were doing the kayak in. Oh, he's got his pack off and he's rolling. So here's, that's actually a good looking campsite. A little bit off the trail though, definitely secluded. That's nice, we like that. I originally picked Campsite 28 because it was a waterfront site that you could kayak or boat into, and it looked like it was fairly close to the bathrooms and the water source, but the map is kind of deceiving. Everything is pretty spread out, and it's a fairly long walk in between. Just to get from Site 7 to 28 took us a little over half an hour, so it definitely is spaced out, which is nice. And the campground was not full which was great for Memorial Weekend, but just because it wasn't full didn't mean it was necessarily quiet. There, people were definitely in a, a party mindset, but since the campground was pretty spaced out, we were able to enjoy some privacy, and we had our own little path that went from our campsite down to the reservoir. And we are already looking forward to coming back with our kayaks so that we can enjoy this beautiful reservoir. So there's site 28, and we really can't see our neighbors, which is great. We are not used to that. Here's the lake. 
the ground over here is pretty uneven and sloped, so we're kind of having a hard time finding a good tent spot. But I think we'll be able to find a good hammock spot, so that's good. You need your trekking pole. It's a little muddy, the trail coming in. The Round Valley Reservoir was created in 1960 with the construction of two dams that allowed the valley to flood. Now, prior to that, there was a small town in the valley, and after the people left, some of the foundations are still visible if you scuba dive into the lake. Besides scuba, because of the clear water, fishing is very popular, there is a swimming beach on the other side of the lake, and of course, kayaking. This would have been a pretty long kayak trip. I'm, I'm actually sort of glad that we hiked instead. That's what I was just saying. This would have been some work. Yeah. I think my work. Well, the wind's pushing everything this way, too. Yeah. Because I think we have to go, we would have to go what, go that way? Or would it be over there? I'm not sure. I feel like we passed that. That's the dam, right? Oh. That's the dam we passed. I think over there. I don't know. These people are camping right on the water. Yeah. Can you, well, this is way too wet. Yeah. We could not camp down here. This is just mud. But that's kind of a neat concept. Yeah. Maybe some of the other areas are drier. Yeah. Right, left, right. I could see where it's hard to find your spot from the water. Cause like, how would you? Barely. Oh, you could barely see the 28. It would be tricky. <laughs> you like it? It's pretty neat. The campground at Round Valley is dog friendly which can be an unusual thing in New Jersey. So Redford was pretty excited. You get the sound of the waves without being in the ocean. Yeah, yeah. the wind. Yeah. Redford was pretty overjoyed with the situation. He could roll around in the grass, he could splash around in the water. He just did not know what to do with himself first. So he was having the greatest day ever. And we were so proud of him on the hiking portion. He did great, especially because the rangers told us to be prepared for about a three to four mile hike, but it actually ended up being five miles. We couldn't get accurate information on the mileage because the trail had been rerouted from the construction on the dam. So we really weren't sure exactly how far we were going, but I'm glad that we didn't pick a campsite farther in because then it would have been quite a long hike. And especially with a dog, you have to be careful to make sure you don't overdo it and uh, keep an eye on their paws. He is dirty. You getting dirty? Hi. Oh yeah, you're dirty. I think if we ever kayak in, 28 would definitely be a great sight, but we should bring binoculars because you're never going to see that little sign from the water, or at least not easily. I mean, you could see it if you knew where you were looking, but it would not be easy, especially if you're here for your first time. I think binoculars would really help to just scan the shoreline to find your, uh, your sight number. But this is a very different camping experience from what we have ever done in New Jersey. And it's really the only official wilderness camping experience in the New Jersey State Park System. There's a couple backpacking sites in South Jersey and things like that. But this is really, uh, I guess, like a larger scale wilderness campsite. So definitely glad we got to do this. I'm glad the weather finally cooperated so we could get out. Now we just got to figure out a tent site. The view of the lake is obstructed by some trees, but it does give you more of a sense of privacy in your campsite. Fairly quiet for a holiday weekend. Quiet as you can get. You can hear a little music into the distance, some, some family groups kind of yelling, but as quiet as you're going to get for a holiday weekend, I would say.
This is a good option. All right, you think intent over here? Yeah. Yeah, it's as flat as it's gonna get. Got dinner tonight is pad thai with chicken and yellow curry. This looks pretty good. I put a little too much water in the pad thai. So we got tent set up on the flattest spot that we could find. I think it's gonna be okay. It seems like it'll be all right. Hammock is set up and the sun is going down. So pretty good timing. Get everything settled in before it starts to get dark. Hopefully Red will also settle in because he's a little crazy. He's like on sensory overload right now. So hopefully we'll get to sleep tonight. Thanks for coming along with us on this backpacking trip to Round Valley Reservoir. We hope that you will stick around for part two. We have more to show you of this beautiful area and how we made this backpacking trip so successful. So we'll see you in the next one. Justice, the next president to be. The news and watch hear your career. It's time for you to face those fears, and it's all fair to be aware and now be there. So don't be scared. Just take a deep breath of air. And one, two, three to ten, you begin to focus again. And though time flies, we'll have enough to realize. Bigger than the both of us.